Hi guys, today I'm going to teach you how you can make your own ketchup at home. So I'm making this simple homemade ketchup recipe that you guys are really going to love. Trust me, it is very simple to make. So do not doubt yourself. You can actually make this at home. Let's get started. All you need is your tomatoes because that's a star ingredient for this recipe. So I'm going to be using 16 small tomatoes. If you have large tomatoes, you can use 8 of that, okay? So you can either peel the skin of the tomatoes off or you can just blend it so it becomes very, very smooth any of them really really works well so i'm going to deseed that tomatoes basically take the seeds out of the tomatoes and then we're going to cook these tomatoes just like this okay but i'll advise you to peel the skin off if you are like a starter or this is your first time okay so that it will be very simple for you you can peel the skin off by putting some hot water on the tomatoes and then just start peeling it off now i'm going to transfer this into my saucepan add a little water and then cook this for 15 to 20 minutes so it becomes very soft you can give yourself like 20 minutes maximum till it becomes very very soft do not let the water also evaporate from it there should be a little moisture around that tomatoes before you blend it now this is what we have we're going to transfer this into our blender add some onions and ginger if you like i'm an over sabi chef so i'm going to add just a little onion and some ginger and garlic to this and then blend this okay now you want to make sure you blend it so it becomes very smooth this is not your usual stew you need to blend it for it to become very smooth like this now i'm going to mix a tablespoon of cornstarch with water this is going to act as a thickener in our ketchup and also help our ketchup to become very smooth and dark but you can do without the cornstarch mixture it is very optional now you're going to sieve that tomato puree that you've blended because you don't want any particle or any of that tomato particle in your ketchup it should be very smooth and glossy okay so just make sure you sieve this into your saucepan that you're going to cook that ketchup in okay just like this so there is no particle left in it so if you want your ketchup to taste just like the ones you've been buying from your grocery shops then make sure you sieve that tomato mix and not just that make sure you cook the tomato mix before you blend it and sieve it these are all steps that will help you get the perfect homemade ketchup okay now i have sieved my tomato mix and i've taken out all the <laughs> particles that i don't need in this my ketchup it needs to be very smooth and glossy like this now i'm going to add that cornstarch mixture that i made and then i'm going to give this a good mix and you can see that the consistency is very smooth you can see that and it looks very glossy shiny shiny just like how we want it if your ketchup is not looking this way then you're doing something wrong so make sure you follow this recipe step by step okay now i'm going to add the remaining ingredients i'm adding in some red chilies just to bring our spice into the ketchup i'm adding some sugar which is a very important ingredient i'm adding two to three tablespoons of sugar you can add your sugar to your taste okay it's all up to you now i'm going to add some vinegar to this just to preserve my ketchup for it to last for some time and then i'm going to cook this on low heat it is very important to cook on low heat otherwise it's going to burn and it's going to turn into some kind of stew that you don't want okay so just take your time and cook this on low heat and within 20 minutes or 25 minutes maximum your ketchup is going to be ready like this you can see that i'm still gently stirring my ketchup so that it doesn't burn and also it doesn't cook too much i just want this smooth consistency and that's it you don't have to keep stirring this ketchup till it becomes cooked no you can just keep stirring it from time to time leave it for it to cook and then stir it again now the ketchup is ready it's looking perfect and then i've gotten the consistency i want now i'm going to transfer this into a bowl just to cool it down you don't want to transfer it into your squeeze bottle while it's hot no you don't want that and this way even thickens up very fast and then the color comes out also Okay, so I'm now going to transfer this into my squeeze bottle or any kind of bottle that you're going to keep your ketchup in. And your ketchup is ready. What I like about this homemade ketchup is that I was able to cook it the way I wanted it. Regulate my sugar content and my salt content and even add more spiciness to it. And I really loved the taste I got. It tasted just similar to the ketchup I always buy. So in fact, I'm going to be making my own ketchup from now on like literally because this ketchup tasted really good i really like it okay now i hope you guys will try this recipe this can last for at least two months because there is no preservative added no additive nothing just your raw ingredients okay so it can last for two months and then you can remake your ketchup now i'm going to serve this with my fries and i enjoyed myself can you see how this ketchup is looking is it looking any different from the ketchup we've been buying no so do you think it's worth making this at home or you keep buying i hope someone says they will try this at home because it's very simple to make okay now when you try it let me know how it goes so don't forget to subscribe to my channel like and share my videos bye